Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at how to get rid of the shine on people's faces. Now we have this picture here. This is from a person in Flickr called Wrestling Entropy. And I want to thank them for letting me use this in the Creative Commons license. So let's go ahead and take a look at this picture. As you can see there are no shiny parts uh, except for maybe the lips right here. Let's go ahead and take off the visibility layer on the eyeball and you can see that there's a lot of shine right there. Whether it's oil or maybe it's just a little bit of sweat, you can take off these shiny parts of a person's face. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here and let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now the one thing that you do not want to do is you don't want to clone this necessarily because then you don't get a real good representation of what their skin looks like. So what I choose to do is pick a color that's very close to the area that's right next to the shiny piece and then paint it on it with a different layer using a very soft brush. So let's go ahead and start by adding a new layer. There's our first layer right there and then I'm going to pick the eyedropper tool. Now this eyedropper tool will pick one of the colors that's very close to the color that's next to the shine. So in this case I want to get rid of this little bit of shine. I'm going to pick this color and it's going to put that color in the foreground. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my brush tool and I want to select a nice soft brush. That's one of these right in here that's nice and feathered over there. Once we have the size of the brush, I have mine set at 45. You can use the left and right bracket tools to be able to make it smaller or larger. And then I want you to go over, leave the mode alone, and then put it at about 19% opacity. Then what we're going to do is we're going to carefully paint, just tapping a little bit here and there just to get rid of that. Now we don't want to make it too noticeable. So we're going to grab the eyedropper tool again and as we move up the face we want to use the skin color that's closest to the other shiny part. Then we're going to grab our nice soft brush with the layer opacity at set at 19 and we're just going to paint a little bit in over there on the shiny parts. Let's go ahead and pick again with the eyedropper tool and this time I'm going to pick this area right there and we're going to keep painting along until we get rid of some of these areas. Now you have to be very careful because it's going to look like it's almost blurry so you want to keep it nice and opaque right there. Let's do the one last one and show you how to do this and I select an area right next to her nose on this shiny part and then we're just going to very carefully just kinda of dot that area to make sure that the shine goes away but that not too much. You can leave a little bit of the shine there and it still looks realistic. Now I'll go ahead and turn this visibility layer off because I already have one that's done and that's right there. And as you can see there that we've gotten rid of a lot of the shine. If I hit Command or Control Zero it will put that picture back to the original size and you can see there that it does have a very pleasing look but it doesn't have a real bad look because there's still just a little bit of highlight there that matches with the lips over there. So really easily you can go over, set your opacity at 19, you pick a nice soft brush, you choose the eyedropper tool, you pick areas that are very close to the shininess, add a new layer, and then paint on that layer and you will get a nice pleasing picture. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like there, and pass on my link to your friends. Cheers!